Hey guys, Grease Monkey 34 here. Here with another video. Today, it's getting closer and closer to Christmas. And why not get another trailer? So, on this trailer, uh, the last trailer I posted was my uh, double snowmobile trailer I prepared, or fully restored mostly. And I had a whole bunch of people interested in buying it, so I kind of sold the double snowmobile trailer because I didn't really need it. I don't really have two snowmobiles. And when you put two heavy quads on it, it's pretty, yeah. So what I did, I did sell it. And with the, some of the cash, I bought this trailer. It's from my uncle. It's in pretty good shape. But he used to have it for his business. This is a metro trailer. Uh, the deck deck size is uh, 60 inch by 14 long, and the wheelbase on it it's 80 inch, 80 inch wheelbase, so good size. Five bolt hubs, good tires. All the lights work. Uh, receiver hitch. I don't really like this style of a receiver hitch. It's like a uh, I thought it would have called. This slides in and out. It slides in and out and uh, it clips this in. I don't really like this style because it can it can fail, but I'm gonna might replace it later on. But I got this canopy thing. I'm gonna take the grinder, zip it up, zip it off. It does have a uh, uh, a fold a fold down uh, ramp. But it's not worth it right now. I'm gonna be getting that in a bit. But yeah, all along a good trailer. And it's perfect for two quads or two snowmobiles that uh, back to back. So yeah. So I'm gonna get the grinder out and zip this thing off. Okay, guys. Got it all cut off. All pieces are cut. I just used the good old Milwaukee Ingo grinder from Makita, I mean. That one got some water coming out of this one, this tube. So some of it up there had not sealed. Whoever welded this before. Took the hammer and just uh, broke them after I cut them all around. I did take the back uh, gate off right, right over there. It used to be here. Like not a, it's like a, I don't know. They were using it for a table or something. But yeah, got them all cut off, and now I'm gonna flip this whole thing sideways and see how it uh, goes. Timber. Oh, she actually held together pretty good. That leg is just like flopping, but yeah. Came one piece, a whole bunch of metal I can use in this piece. Okay, guys, I got the trailer in my garage, it just barely fits. But yeah, it is in, it's in here. Unthawing, getting warmed up. Things I'm gonna do to uh, this is clean up all the well, uh, where I cut it off, those pieces. Clean them up, paint, put a little bit of black paint on them. Uh, this deck, uh, someone put uh, a piece of, uh, what are it called? Vinyl, I guess? Linoleum flooring or something? On some plywood. And then the plywood is on top of the 2x6s going this way. The full length 2x6s in here. If uh, we look underneath, You can see it all nice, nice decking. So, I'm gonna take uh, this vinyl off and uh, take the plywood off. It just add an extra weight that doesn't need to be on there. So this is the plan for taking off the vinyl. It's like glued down. And I want to keep the plywood. So I've got the ratchet strap going up to the roof. I've got a clamp on it. We got the heater on it to like warm up the area. And then we did like put some pressure on it and it slowly, it slowly turns. Okay guys, update. The vinyl was pretty easy to rip up. 
But the plywood underneath was pretty hard to get up. Whoever put that down. So we're getting the ply bars out. I got all of them out, both of me. <laughs> uh, just ripping up the deck. Uh, someone put some screws in, every so often. But yeah, taking it up. So the nice, the nice brand new boards underneath. And knows what I really want because the plywood, it sits up a little bit, up on this edge, and I don't like that. I like it flush. I like these boards flush with this. So, ripping up the plywood and the vinyl on top of it, which is pretty bad. And uh, I've seen with plywood on top of edda wood, it create moisture buildup, and it can rot the boards out. But like down here, all in the front here. Where the plywood on top on top of these boards it was all moisture. So that not good. It better to keep these open boards with the seams going this way. So yeah. So ripping this up and then I will be back with you guys after we're done. Okay guys, back working on the trailer today. Got all the rest of the plywood ripped off. And the linoleum and the glue. So now, just here with the air chisel and the crowbar, and it's taken off like all the little bits, like this. You don't want to keep that on your trailer. So I'm just taking that and ripping it off. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta get all that clean, and then I'm uh, take the the sander and sand the areas where it need it. Okay, guys, okay, got it all cleaned up. Took a chisel and a hammer and took off all the little nubs that was on there, or glue and wood. So got all that off, and then I took my uh, belt sander and went over it just lightly to get the any, any glue and any more type of wood that you can barely see. But it's all nice and smooth. So, it's good enough. And what I'm going to do now is... This is pressure treated lumber already on it. But I sanded the top off so a little bit of protection is gone. So I'm going to put a, a coat of... Lurth, uh Like stain on it. So it seeps in nice and deep. Okay guys. Just starting to stain it. You can see right here. You're looking great. Look at that. Those boards are going to turn out great with some stain on it. Just using some basic uh, stain. This is the gold tinge to it, or gold oak, as it's called. So that should work great on this type of wood. So, yeah, I'm going to get the brush and all on, leave it on for a bit. They're going to leave it on, and I'm going to wipe it off or anything. I'm going to soak in nice and deep. Okay guys, got it all stained up. This is the first coat. I'm going to put a second coat after this one soaks into the wood. But yeah, it's looking beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, she's looking good. So, I'm going to wait for this. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to take the white wheel. And like to some of these rusty sparks, uh, clean them up, and then I'm gonna take some just uh, rust coat black paint, gloss black, and touch up like those little spots. There's a whole bunch of like the pockets, and then uh, the railing, they go on the sides, the little pockets where they go in the pocket, a little bit rusty in some spots, so I'm just touching up all everything. Okay, guys, one thing I added onto the trailer is. A mount here, just loaded on, nice and strong, for my 2,000 pound winch or 2,500 pound winch. Just on the trailer to like winch up a quad or something small. Yeah, I welded that up. I'm gonna throw some paint on it and then bolt the winch on. Okay, guys, got the winch bolted in, or well, welded in and bolted, I guess. Got a cover plate. So that works. Hooked up the winch controller. 
So that all connected there. And yeah, so she works. And I can just connect it to my truck. Or any uh, any uh, vehicle without this adapter. So that's easy. And then I also, uh, because I like multiple winches and I can't trust the electric winch 100% all the time. Uh, I put my uh, hand winch back on this trailer. I had this on the multiple different trailers. I like it. So I welded a nice bra brace in here. It all nice and strong. And I meant for a double wall tubing or square tubing. It's an inch and a half inside an inch and three quarter. So yeah. But yeah, it uh, and it removable. So you flick the switch, wind it back down, unhook it down here. There's a little clip for it. And this whole thing can uh, just pull out, take it out, you can lower the uh, trailer down or anything, slip it back in, or you can take it out and flip it this way. So we can winch from the side. So, so if you haven't had the winch from the side, we can do that. But yeah, it slips right in and it perfectly lined up and it's so smooth you can't even tell it wasn't one piece. Yeah. And to make sure it doesn't pop out on the highway, just hook that down there and it winch it in. There we go. Now it can't come out. Because I like hand winches because they are reliable. <laughs> Hey guys, got the rear piece painted up because it was pretty rusty. And I put a second coat of wood stain on there. It's all nice and shiny right now, but it'll dull once it soaks in a little more. And I painted all the little edges where everything rusty. So, yeah. And I painted the the hand winch that's all done up there so it's not gonna rust yeah so now I think I'm gonna do get these sides put back on and yeah it'd be ready to go almost okay guys got the sides put back on and I touch up some spots where I took the canopy off yeah smoothed it out and painted it yeah, so she's starting to look good, and I'm uh, going to be putting some decals on, or the DOT uh, reflectors, on pl some different places. The best part I found in the, in the winter, this, is, this building is heated, but uh, take a heat gun, warm up the area where you want to stick it, make sure it's nice and clean, and then stick them on, and they won't peel off in a couple months. That's the best way i found. Hey guys, got the decals on, or the DOT stickers everywhere, and then I got some other um, refractive tape, or stickers around, I don't know what you call it, yeah, refractive tape I guess, and there's a couple big old pieces like on there, on the front, and it wraps all the way around, so it should be good. Now I'm just gonna hook the battery up to the running lights. I noticed that one corner running light there and that one over here are, is not working. So I'm gonna just hook the battery up if it'll lose connection or dirty maybe. Hey guys, I couldn't get this one to work. I popped it out and the bulb inside it blew. So I gotta get a new one of those. But all the other ones work. That front one on the, that side. It's working. I'll show you guys. It was just dirty connection. But she works now. All the rest work. So. Okay guys. Got the spare tire holder. All done. Just used a hub. Cut out two of them and weld them in. So there are only three mounts. Or three uh, bolts for the tire. And then back here there's multiple adjustments on this steel bracket. 
and it comes out about five inches and I made some uh, brackets to bolt it onto my little trailer. Okay guys, got the spare tire holder bolted onto the side of the trailer. So that all bolted on. So I'm going to go there on the passenger side because that's the safer side to have it. When you have to take it out on the side of the highway. Yeah. Okay guys, got it all complete. Got it pulled out of my building. Hooked to the truck. This is how I got hooked up here. Up the right way. And now, I'm going to take it for a first ride on the road. But yeah, I got all the decals, and you can see with the sunlight, it really hits it and it's nice and shiny. So, yeah. Do a little walk around. Gonna be getting the gate very soon. Oh, they're gonna be slapping that on. Got the trailer for you. Oh, it looks way better than it did before. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll. See you guys in the next one, I guess. Bye-bye.